Uh, and I'm sure if you ask uh, Americans, probably <laughs> a lot of people do not really even know the real meaning of this so-called one belt, one way. Yeah. What that means, mm -hmm. what this is perhaps currently at uh, the uh, at the stage of an idea, uh, a notion, and uh, it's becoming becoming the initiative and the program. Mm -hmm. So the it is, is something in the making. And I think this 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 is a this is a great moment for all of us who are interested in the in the initiative to actually spend some time. You know, open, open, being open-minded, and really think and to learn. You know what it really means for their own country and for the rest of the world, particularly for the countries you know that are related and associated. Mm -hmm. You know, with this one belt, one way. But this is a huge. This is a. This is really a, a grant initiative, I mean, that are complex, and that are you know far-reaching. And uh, it takes uh, great visions to, to, to conceive an initi initiative like this. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's uh, the right reaction on the, the new, new necessities. Uh, it's, we can say it's opportunity. Uh, I absolutely uh, in favor. I think it's opportunity for China, but also for uh, those who will participate. And uh, I think it's mm, uh, it's something which is coming from the natural uh, knowledge uh, of the real situation. So we are, uh, as I said, we are very inter interdependent today. It's uh, it's not possible that one part of the world is closed or isolated. We are very much connected, and uh, to make the better use of this connectivity, we can use different methods. And this is one of the good methods we can use. Connectivity. Uh, is a core concept of 21st century. It's all is closely linked and connected uh, for the uh, global issues, uh, in the global issues. Uh, before the 21st century, all the actors, uh, whether uh, it is a state of, of sovereign state actors or non-state actors or multinational corporations, uh, it exists separately as a node. But uh, the late, uh, tw uh, late 20th centuries, it started to be linked uh, as a line. Mm -hmm. Now, in the 21st century, all is the, uh, multi uh, multi uh, all is linked in the multi-dimension in the cube. The one belt and one road strategy, and uh, uh, we should see that is what is inside, rather than the and the and the uh, visionary concept. So it is more about uh, trade facilitation. It is more about uh, infrastructure building, connectivity. So in that can says, uh, we can say it is a kind of great grand uh, vision for uh, co prosperity that exist uh, among the nations. Mm -hmm. uh, so more inside is how these countries, individual countries that is on the uh, One Belt or the Silk Road and uh, uh, how these uh, roads can be transformed into economic corridors. Uh, the One Road, One Belt to me is a uh, co-development for co-prosperity for the region. That means uh, as China develops, um, it's also important for the region to develop. Uh, so uh, for, for development, it can be many ways. It can be in terms of trade, in terms of investment, but uh, most important is actually connectivity. Because once connectivity is established, then it's easier for development together. So this one belt, one road is one is over land and one is on the uh, old maritime sail road. So many countries are along this road and if all can work together, I think it will create more prosperity and a long-term benefit for the people along the road. What we're focused on here in terms of setting policies and setting program uh, is how do we achieve higher levels of economic growth? Uh, and, and of course all the things that go with that, job creation and the like. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, uh, there are a number of areas that you have to focus on. 
Uh, one of them is investment uh, and strong investment policy. Another is the whole notion of infrastructure and closing the infrastructure gap. And this is a very good direction that China is taking. Uh, and, and when you talk about connectivity, uh, if you are going to have a solid, uh, you know, domestic economy, and you're going to have a very strong country by which uh, you can also import uh, price, you're going to have to have the ability to move around effectively. And therefore, closing the infrastructure gap is a critical component. So I think this is terrific leadership uh, on the Chinese uh, government's part.